Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my mashed cauliflower. I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients, show you guys the process of making it, and then I'll show you guys what I'm gonna eat it with at the end. So, keep watching. So I'm gonna start off with two heads of fresh cauliflower. I'm gonna be using butter. This is unsalted, but if you have salted, you can definitely use that. Um, I have grated Parmesan cheese, mayonnaise, heavy whipping cream, minced garlic, and I have garlic butter. This is optional. I, if you don't have this, it's okay. You can use it, you can make your own with um, the garlic powder seasonings, minced garlic, and butter, but I'm just, in case you guys do have this, you, this really works great. This is literally all I need for my mashed cauliflower and gravy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just chop up my cauliflower. Again, you guys can use frozen cauliflower if you want. Um, I think that's much easier and not as messy, but I just went ahead and used fresh cauliflower. And then I'm gonna wash my cauliflower and add some salt to my boiling water. So if you guys don't have um, this garlic butter that I get from Sam's, you can make your own like garlic butter. Eight tablespoons of butter, so just a whole little block of butter. I'm gonna let that melt. All right, so I'm just gonna add my cauliflower right in. I already salted the water. Um, with salt so I'm gonna put this on medium to high and just kind of let this sit I'm right, gonna, gonna put this top on here let the cauliflower cook and then I'm gonna continue with my sauce some salt and I'm so sorry guys I don't measure anything I would say I just added about two teaspoons of pink salt garlic powder black pepper and I'm gonna add some minced garlic. One. I'm gonna add two tablespoons. All right, so I put the heat to low and I am just gonna let, oh, it smells so good. So I'm just gonna let this simmer for a bit. And I will check on the cauliflower in about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, guys, so we are going to be making steak for dinner tonight with a side of Brussels sprouts and then my cauliflower mashed potatoes. Um, so cauliflower is still boiling. have my little sauce there. And Jamal is actually going to be making the Brussels sprouts. Hello, YouTube. <coughs> God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to be making them for the first time. I've never made them before in my life. Yes, yeah. So, um, let's go. Dad, if you never make them, then how are you going to teach us? Exactly. Come on. I'm going to show you. Okay? So, what they're doing, okay. sorry, my sink looks off. terrible. It's cauliflower. They're just going to be cutting the ends out. And Isaiah is going to be helping with his butter knife. Hi, guys. Jamal and Isaiah just finished the Brussels sprouts. They're gonna throw it in the oven. It is me, Isaiah. Subscribe, <laughs> robot. Subscribe or you have to laser you. Okay, and the oven like, goes. And the cauliflower is now. done. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do next. I have the um, cauliflower. I'm gonna transfer everything back into this bowl, or not this bowl, this pot. I'm going to add that butter that we just made. But I don't have a food processor, but I do have a chopper and it's really small, so tiny, so I'm gonna have to do it little by little, unfortunately. Um, but for Christmas, I did ask Santa, wink, wink, for a food processor. Um, that will make making this and a lot of other things much easier. I'm just gonna like, mash it oh it's kind of working it's soft enough to where it is mashable so that's good there's still a lot of water in it and that's perfectly fine and then i'm just going to add this mixture that we all made together right in 
here. Lots of garlic. Mash everything in. Um, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of mayo right in there. And I'm going to add um, one eighth of a cup of heavy whipping cream. So I'm going to add that right in. Parmesan cheese. I'm going to add another. Okay. I'm going to mash everything together. Oh, guys, do you see that? It looks like mashed potatoes. Wow. And some more garlic powder and black pepper for taste. I am just going to add a little bit into the chopper just to see the difference because honestly this is really mashed um, but I'm going to see if it's worth doing the whole pot. So I'm just going to transfer it into this little chopper. Look at this, guys. Wow. I did add a little bit of Keurig. Um, I spread butter into here. Alright, this is all done, guys. I will let you guys know what I pair it with for dinner. Alright, guys, so this is my dinner. I have steak. I really like it garlicky, <laughs> and there's A1 sauce. I have the Brussels sprouts that Jamal and Isaiah made, and I have my cauli mashed potatoes here with the chicken gravy. So this is my dinner tonight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys try this mashed cauliflower recipe really soon, especially since Thanksgiving is next week. Here's the recipe with all the ingredients and step-by-step -step on how I made mine. And I originally planned on making a low carb chicken gravy as well, um, which is why you see the xanthan gum and the chicken stock in the beginning of the video, but it did not turn out the way I wanted it to turn out. So that's why I didn't show it in this video. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.